Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers. So today we have a video uh, messages from the one who hurt you and it's going to be Aries through Pisces. All right. So I'm going to start off with an Oracle message. Okay. And then I'm going to close out with Angel message and I'm going to um, ask the tarot what's the message and then I'm going to clarify with the tarot. All right. So I've already said my prayers and we're just going to get into it. Okay. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. So, what is it? If you're an Aquarius and an Aries hurts you, what is it that an Aries wants to say to you? I find you incredibly attractive. I feel empty without you. I find you incredibly attractive. I feel empty without you. You are always on my mind. And I feel like I can't give you what you need. So if an Aries hurt you, you are always on their mind. They feel like they can't give you what you need. Um, and they find you incredibly, incredibly attractive. So let's see here. What messages want to come out through the tarot? If an Aries hurt you, what do they want to say? And this could be any Aries. It, doesn't, it could be in any kind of relationship. We have the Three of Wands reverse. Three of Wands reverse. Tell me about that. What does Aries want to say? I feel like they're trying to make a decision here about whether they should come back around. They're stuck in their mind, okay? Um, right now, they're not really sure where to put their focus at, but they want to come in. This is the thing. They want the, the Aries wants to come in and return. Um, there might be an issue with money. We have Ten of Pentacles reverse. We have the Ten of Pentacles further down here on the deck. Sometimes that can talk about expansion. Maybe they're not able to, but I can tell that you're on their mind a lot. Give me another card here. Why the two of pentacles? Some might be um, Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, because I see, I see a little fish right here. All right, so... If you if an Aries hurt you, they do want to come in. They do want to return. All right. Um, they've been thinking about you a lot. Maybe they've been pulling on your energy. Maybe they've popped into your mind, especially during cancer season, because this is a card of cancer. But they also recognize you've changed. You see that butterfly up there. You see you have your sword up. OK, you accept love, but you're not going to accept anything less than so. They're trying to make a decision whether they should come in toward, toward you. And they may have some sort of um, problems when it comes to stability or to money. Because I have the pentacles here all in the reverse. Maybe they even got out of a, out, out of a recent connection, okay, that was karmic and toxic for them. All right, so let's close out with an angel card. I'm doing the video this way because a lot of you have requested it uh, to be this way. All right, what are messages from the angels for this? What's a bonus card messages from the angels? And we have here Fiona and it says, now that you're asked, now that you asked your angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So if you've asked your angels for help, they're about ready to come in. Things are about ready to change. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next sign. Okay, if you are an Aquarius that's dealing with a Taurus that hurt you, what messages does Taurus have for you? What messages does Taurus have for you? Also, keep in mind, if you're a cross watcher, the roles could always be reversed. Okay, this can be what Aquarius wants to say to you. We have long distance. Anything else? There might be a distance between you guys. I'm not ready. I'm planning on reaching out to you. So on the bottom, they still have growing to do. 
they're planning on reaching out maybe there's something that's keeping them at a distance and they're not ready all right let's get into the tarot if it was a Taurus that hurt you okay what are the messages if a Taurus hurt you what are the messages if a Taurus hurt you what are the messages Wow, they do want to reach out here. We have four of wands. They do want some sort of union and return. Wow, Taurus. Okay, Taurus feels a very strong connection with you. Taurus is probably watching you from afar with that page of swords. All right, Taurus does want to reunite. Uh, like it says, you know, they're planning on reaching out. They're not ready yet. Something may be about distance, okay? something that's keeping them at a distance. Tell me about the four of wands. Yeah, look at this. Taurus plans on reaching out, okay? Two of cups, close connection here. Yeah, it's, uh, there's something here. I mean, the five of pentacles, again, is in the reverse. Seven of pentacles, um... There's something that's keeping them at a distance. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Reverse. Six of Pentacles. So there might be somebody else in the picture, okay, or something else. It could be a job. They could. It could be a situation. Literally, they could be at a distance, not close by. Maybe they don't have the money or the resources to come close to you. There's something here about them trying to gain some sort of some sort of stability, all right, or some sort of uh, maybe paperwork. Um, or financial something to be released to them but they're definitely planning on this okay we have the Aquarius card um, and the upright we have the fool and we have judgment so they're definitely manifesting returning and coming back they need something um, there's something that they need in order to return tell me about the Hierophant yes two of wands reverse this talks about a distance okay Two of Wands can be a travel card as well, and it, this can talk about returning. So they're definitely planning on returning, especially if your Taurus is at a distance far from you. This is definitely might resonate. Tell me about the Six of Cups. This is this very close connection. This is also them thinking about you. Tell me about that Six of Cups. Yeah. Eight of Cups. Everything in this Taurus reading, okay, if a Taurus hurt you, they're planning on returning. And the High Priestess. They're going to tell you something maybe they're going to tell you why all of this happened for some of you this Taurus might be your twin flame okay it doesn't have to be everybody but in the pre-shuffle for Taurus if a Taurus hurt you that card did come out in the pre-shuffle so let's close out with an angel card what do you need to know right now what would be most beneficial to you if you are um, if it was a Taurus that hurt you and it's on your mind what would be beneficial to know you got two cards we have Mystique, and it says, Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. And it says, Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else, else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So this talks about just take care of yourself, but keep charging forward. All right? So I hope this was beneficial, and now we're going to move on to the next sign. Okay, moving on. I've done a pre-shuffle. If you are Aquarius and a Gemini hurt you, okay, Gemini's on your mind. Maybe Gemini hurt you. Or vice versa, if you're Gemini watching for Aquarius. Let's just see the messages. What do they want to say? Can we start over? Okay, so somebody wants to restart in this connection. Anything else? I abandon people to make myself feel important. So this person might be one of those types. They leave you before you can leave them. Finances is a problem. Anything else? I'm afraid of commitment. So, these might be some messages. Let's get into the tarot and see what wants to come out. This is Aquarius and Gemini. If one of these signs hurt you here, if a Gemini hurt you, or if an Aquarius heard a Gemini here, we have the Three of Wands. Anything else? 
that's expecting something yeah so there's going to be some clarity and most likely some communication and things are going to move on to the next level here okay it looks like there's going to be a return we have the hierophant we have the five of pentacles and the reverse all right so it definitely looks like um, there's going to be some sort of, at least some sort of, something's going to get cleared up, all right? There's something here with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, but let's see what the Three of Wands wants to say. Tell me about the Three of Wands. That's expecting. Maybe someone's expecting some money, okay? Uh, because the Pentacles are reversed and it says finances are a problem. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Two of Swords, all right. Somebody might be having some sort of financial pinch, all right? Somebody might have been expecting some money or something to come in. Um, and now um, the next card is the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So if that hasn't happened, it's it sort of posed a problem. And it's like now Two of Swords. I, now I have to really rethink this because this person or this situation is holding up my finances or my stability. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse and Eight of Swords. So this is where someone's at, all right, especially if this is um, that connection, all right, if you're dealing with, with them and they hurt you, they do want to clear things up. If it has anything to do with money, money could be um, involved here, all right? Money could be the reason why someone's not able to clear things up. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands reverse, okay? They definitely want to talk to you and clear things up. They definitely do. There is a lot. There's pentacles are showing up here. Something to do with, with money or... Um, the right time when it has to do with coming in connection here. There's something that is literally holding them up. Tell me about the five of pentacles in the reverse. Ace of pentacles, reverse. There's a lot here about really money is the biggest problem, but maybe because I have to travel to you, all right? But something happened. Um, there was some, some sort of shenanigan here that looks like that happened with their money. Um, or with the opportunity to come and, and correct things here with you. If they put you in some sort of shenanigan with money, they want to correct that. But the thing is, it's like there's no conversation. There's something that's happened here karmically to them that's keeping them stuck. And it's also keeping them in a place of lack. Um, they are watching you or reading your old text messages or something like this. Let's close out with an angel card. So this person has the intentions to, but really they're having some financial issues. It looks like they're having strong financial issues when it comes to moving toward you. And we have Isaiah, and it says, It's a good time to give birth to new ideals and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So it's basically saying <laughs> um, give birth to new ideals and a new direction, a new situation, because whatever this situation is going to be held up for a little bit. All right? All right. Namaste. Moving on to the next sign. Okay. If a cancer hurt you or vice versa. Okay. If a cancer hurt you or vice versa. What are their messages? Wow. Right off the bat, you deserve better than me. Secrets and deceptions are on the bottom. Anything else? I don't know what I want. All right. I don't know what I want. You deserve better than me. I feel like I am not good enough for you. You are always on my mind and twin flame. So for some of you, this is an Aquarius Cancer Twin Flame dynamic. We'll see what wants to come out here in the tarot. If a Cancer hurt you or vice versa, let's see what wants to come out here. What messages want to come out? What do they want to say? Wow, there's a lot here. Okay. There's a lot. 
We have the Ten of Swords reversed, the <laughs> um, Three of Swords reversed, Strength card. I can tell right now that they, they want to come in. They, they want to just sort of get out of their head and come in here. Uh, release whatever's stopping them and they want to heal this but they're they're just not they're feeling weak right now maybe they're even having an ego death but it seems like they they do want to start over okay um because the empress has not been in their life that is the yin energy <laughs> um and it looks like this is a person whoever's in the yin energy looks like you've not been chasing this person okay and so now they're just ready to just start over give up drop all ten wands and start over here all right and it's going to start with an apology this is what they plan on doing all right this is the message four cups reverse everything is pretty much reversed for this person okay they don't feel good enough for you they feel you're always on their mind and that is very much a twin flame thing um but they don't feel strong enough they want to start over but they know that also you don't just want to connect with them in the, in the typical way, all right, maybe they wanted to connect with you with sex, maybe that's what it was all about, but they do want to come forward and apologize, but they have to release something, so let's focus here on what they have to release, what do they have to release, what do they have to release, no, they have to cut something out, and they're in the process, whatever it is that they have to cut out, they're in the process, because the knight of swords here is sideways, um, what else? Tell me about that Ten of Wands reverse. And they're about to. Yeah, Ten of Wands again reverse. They're, bu they're about ready to cut everything off and reach out. Or they're already there. The Tens is already there. Um, releasing and starting over. This Three of Pentacles reverse is starting over. Tell me about that Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You're about to be their entire focus. Why is the strength card in reverse? Leo energy. Why is that in the reverse? Four of cups in the reverse. Four of cups in the reverse here. So this prop, this person is having a hard time gathering the courage to come in. All right, tell me why the Empress is in reverse. That is Venus energy. That's Libra energy, Taurus energy, but it's Venus. Oh, wow, the Emperor is here. Three of Pentacles. The Emperor is reversed. This is the thing. They have to end something with someone before they can come in. All right? There's something that has to finish out, close out, so that they can come in um, the way that they want to come in. And this is definitely showing up, you know, as a twin flame. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. They might have went off in a karmic direction. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. And that may be what they have to cut off. Decision here. Two of Swords. Um, this person has made a decision about coming forward. This person has made a decision about, you know, they know that they've been inconsistent with you. They know that they've put others in front of you. This is what they want to change. Tell me about... This page of cups. Is this an apology or what? Tell me about this. Knight of cups. I think there's a major, a very big, an, an apology coming. And, you know, maybe they got involved with someone else. Maybe they started a family somewhere else. Um, and I don't think you expect this person to return either. But this is what's on their mind. All right, if you're dealing with a Cancer Twin Flame or whatever. Cancer Aquarius Dynamic Twin Flame. Let's close out with an Angel card. Fiona. This came out um, for Aries as well, I believe. Anyway, it says, Now that you have asked your angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So if you haven't asked your angels to help, I would definitely ask them. All right, good luck, and I'll move on to the next sign now. Okay, if you're dealing with a Leo-Aquarius combination, messages from the one who hurt you, let's see what they want to say. This is Aquarius-Leo. Anything else? I feel like I'm not good enough for you. I am intimidated by you on the bottom. 
I feel like I'm not good enough for you. This is the end. There was some inter someone interfering in our relationship. So when it says this is the end, maybe no one's going to be interfering in the relationship anymore. Let's see what the tarot wants to say. This is for Aquarius Leo, for the one uh, who hurt you. So it's an Aquarius Leo combo. Show me what I need to see. What do they want to say? What is the message that they want to give here today? What's the message for the one that hurt you? Aquarius Leo combo. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we have the Six of Pentacles on the reverse on the bottom of the deck. We have the Hangman, Pisces energy. We have this decision. We have this Ten of Swords. We have this Eight of Cups, okay, and the Chariot. So if it's this is uh, Aquarius Leo combination of the one who hurt you, then there's something here about um, wanting to go toward the Nine of Cups, okay, this wish fulfillment. Holding back, though, they're holding back because they're trying to decide about this Ten of Swords. Now, this Ten of Swords means it's about the deception, all right? So if they deceived you, you know, that might be something that's causing them to hold back, okay? Um, because, you know, that equals they don't feel good enough for you. But there's a reason they're holding back. And maybe it's this other person. So tell me about the chariot. We have cancer with the chariot. We have the wheel of fortune. So it's not a good time. All right, is what it's saying right now. Now is not the time, okay, because of this hangman. What is this hangman? I feel like there's a relationship that's closing out. Yeah, we have the devil here. It's really not a good time. We have major arcana. Um, so this would talk about it's going to happen in the right time. There is a situation that has to close out for them. All right, and we do have Leo. It seems like it could be on Leo's side because I have Leo upright and Leo reverse. All right. Um, death card. So it looks like it doesn't have to be a Leo because, you know, either way, but there are changes that's happening and that's the reason why it looks like there's a marriage ending or a long-term contractor commitment. But with the Hierophant reverse and the scales of justice here, I do feel like there's a, a, a relationship or contract that's ending. Now it's not the right time. So somebody might be going through a tough ending if it doesn't have anything to do with the Aquarius Leo combo. Tell me about the Two of Swords. That can even be contracts. We have the Temperance Angel. All right, this is coming together and deciding something. Two people coming together to decide something because there's an Empress who's out. And the moon is here in reverse. So somebody, someone's getting out of a out of a relationship. Someone could be leaving. It looks like a marriage, but it also looks like they could be leaving because they want to return to someone they're happy with, or be with someone they're happy with. Tell me about the ten of swords in the reverse. Yeah, they want to be with their person. All right, four of wands. So there is a connection that's ending so that two people can be together. Now, if it's ending because it was meant to, or if it's ending so two people can be together, I don't know. But ultimately, this is how the energy is reading. Somebody wants to go off and be happy. And because of that, there's a contract that's ending. And it, for some of you, a lot of you, it could be like a marriage contract. Page of Swords, Seven of Swords, Reverse. They're watching you, okay? and uh, Or somebody's watching somebody here. And it seems like the person who either sabotage, it seems like the person that sabotaged this connection, maybe the person who's getting out of a relationship is the one who's watching the other person, if that makes any sense. So let's close out with some angel messages. Let's close out with some angel messages. All right, this is for Aquarius Leo, and it says. Be patient. Now is the time to learn, study, gather information, enjoy being a student. Uh, because the future, in the future, you'll need to synthesize your knowledge into action. So if you're drawn to learning something, now is definitely the time. And it says, Akasha, you are, an, you are a spiritual teacher. Okay, You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine mission. So 
you might be um, learning something when it comes to spirituality. Anyway, uh, Aquarius Leo, I hope you enjoyed this. Moving on to the next sign now. Okay, if you are Aquarius Virgo, and if there's someone in this dynamic who has hurt the other person, okay? If you're Aquarius dealing with a Virgo that hurt you or vice versa, let's see what messages want to come out. Show me what I need to see for this reading here. Aquarius versus Virgo. The one who hurt you. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of messages here. Okay, first one out though is bottom of the deck says, I am so sorry. Okay. And this came out in the pre-shuffle, but it came out again. And I said, I literally said, okay, if you if you're real and you want to come out, come out again. It did. You didn't see the pre-shuffle because the camera was paused. So some of you are dealing with a twin flame Virgo. And it says, I will find my way back to you one day. Well, that can be any day in any life, right? It says, I was pretending to be someone else. I think the world of you, there was someone interfering in our relationship. And it was just a fling. That's probably what was interfering in the relationship. A fling type of energy. All right. So let's see here. Put those there. All right. For some of you, this is your twin flame. All right. Let's see what wants to come out here. The one who hurt you. What do they want to say? What do they want to say? What do they want to say? That also came out in the pre-shuffle. Okay. We have the three of wands. Anything else? Somebody does want to come in and talk. Okay. There hasn't been any conversation yet. We have King of Swords in the reverse. That's Aquarius. And we have um, the Seven of Wands. All right. So somebody may be coming in. Someone may be seeing you as you raise your standards but somebody also might be seeing um that something because these people are fighting so there might be something where somebody feels like coming in might cause a fight um but they could also be one ready to fight for this all right there could be <laughs> there's a lot of sexual desire here though and somebody might be leaving another person so to keep that in mind let's clarify what wants to happen here Tell me about the Three of Wands when it comes to Aquarius Virgo dynamic here for the one that hurt you. Tell me about the Three of Wands. All right, so someone's feeling left out in the cold, left behind. Okay, ghosted. And here's another one of my Twin Flame cards. But you guys might be mirroring each other. Um, so, no conversation. You're not reaching out. They're not reaching out. Mirroring each other might be seeing mirroring numbers like 1221 stuff like that 1001 mirroring stuff that's mirroring um but also somebody might ultimately be taking a good hard look in the mirror at themselves because it does say i was pretending to be someone else now who was who was pretending pretending to be who i don't know um but wow this is clarifying the three of wands somebody really wants to come forward here somebody has something to say okay and maybe they're having a hard time figuring out what to say. But we have the Hierophant there. It's a card of Taurus. It's a card of tradition. Um, and we have Sagittarius here. All right. But I feel like someone literally is just trying to figure out the right thing to say. And you're both mirroring each other in some sort of dynamic. Okay. But Five of Pentacles Reverse talks about a return. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. That's what was most confusing to me. I feel a lot of, you know, stress with that. Maybe there's a lot of people against this connection. Tell me about Seven of Wands. Okay. So really, um, you know, we have three people here in the Six of Pentacles. We have three people because maybe someone's giving to two people. Or maybe that was what, what it was. But now we have... A very sincere heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, maybe it's going to be um, them ready to fight for this. All right. Somebody might be ready to fight for this connection. 
and that is a lot of energy right there but at the end of the day i do see two people come into a, a heart to heart conversation literally here that's what i see here coming in the future tell me about the page of pentacles on the reverse it looks like there's been no contact or conversation five of wands reverse there's been no attempt uh it looks like no contact or no conversation or anything like this that's a big burden for somebody and it's the lovers reverse someone someone is definitely feeling um left out okay and it seems like the the biggest pain here has a lot to do with ghosting tell me about the king of swords reverse it seems like the biggest pain has to do with ghosting and, and maybe a, a karmic or something like that was chose over a divine counterpart tell me about the king of swords reverse aquarius energy we have judgment reverse and we have virgo on the bottom all right and then we have the seven of pentacles but it talks about divine timing kind of like that person's pregnant and that baby will not be born until the right time now or maybe you know some of you there was literally a baby or a pregnancy involved but anyways we have aquarius reverse we have judgment reverse and we have someone in a lot of reflection so somebody here might be thinking a lot about what happened where things went wrong and why somebody ultimately decided to do whatever it is they decided to do somebody might like to have a conversation to have closure and if that's you i definitely see that coming all right so let's close out with an angel card what do you need to know Wow, we have a baby here on the bottom too. So there might literally be something to do with the baby or child. And we have a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So some of you might be getting a new job, moving to a no, new location. So it, it, congratulations if that's you. All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm moving on to the next sign. Okay, if uh, you're dealing with the Libra, this is Aquarius Libra connection. All right, messages from the one who hurt you. Let's see what wants to come out. Please forgive me. I was pretending to be someone else. I have sexual fantasies about you. This is the end, reminiscing. I feel like someone's about ready to stop thinking and start doing. Um, yeah, I read them all. Please forgive me. I have sexual fantasies about you. I was pretending to be someone else. This is the end and reminiscing. I think literally someone's about ready to just stop thinking and get, and get out of their head and actually take action. Show me what I need to see from the tarot. Show me what I need to see from the tarot. What do I need to see here? Messages from the one that hurt you. Knight of Cups. Wow. We have a return. <laughs> we have a return. Somebody is returning here. Somebody is ready to just sort of get out of the Knight of Cups energy. Grow up. Um not wanting to date or whatever that knight of cups was with them they want to get out of it tell me about the world card that world card is fixed energy for aquarius scorpio leo and taurus all right we are talking about aquarius and libra tell me about that world card okay someone's in a lot of pain all right um they have not communicated this okay some of you uh, might be mirroring each other seeing mirroring numbers okay some of you might have some gemini in your chart tell me more about this someone's in pain over the ending maybe you walked away the star in reverse okay aquarius might have walked away and someone's really sad it's very easy here aquarius is out somebody sort of sitting here sad drinking um tell me about the knight of cups could have been doing a lot of drinking. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. 
Yeah, Seven of Swords. So, the person who ultimately sabotaged this is the person who is sort of sitting in their sorrows right now and wanting to return, okay? Um, I feel like they didn't want to commit and you just sort of cut them off. You know, Aquarius is known to have a pretty good cutoff game, but I maybe Libra does too. Anyway, that's what we seem to be having right here. Somebody wants to return. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Tell me about that. This is pretty clear. Six of Pentacles. Okay. This is just somebody's really feeling the cutoff game. Somebody's really feeling, um, you know, it looks like someone walked away from the other person. It, it, you know, someone could have had some sort of overindulgence problem. Okay. Now, if not with drinking, with something else. And so it looks like Aquarius may have walked away, okay, and um, energetically anyway. And now this person, which, you know, showing up as Libra here, wants to come in pretty soon. So if, if a Libra hurt you, it looks like a Libra is coming back in. Uh, and you, if you were picking up on their energy during cancer season, okay, they, they've been really, they, you know, they could have been saucing it up, sitting in sorrows for sure, no matter if they were saucing it up or not. So they plan on returning, um, and they definitely feel the cutoff. They feel the pain. I'm not saying, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm reading cards here. I, I, I'm not a judge of anybody of saying anyone deserves it. I don't know what happened, uh, but it just looks like, it was like, well, you don't want to commit? I'm out. Give me an angel card for this. Give me an angel card for this little reading. We have Adriana, and it says, I am leading you toward the answers to your prayers. Please listen and follow the steps. I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So pay attention to your intuition, thoughts, and dreams at this time. I feel like you're going to be guided on what steps to take next. All right? I hope this was helpful. I'm going to move on to the next sign now. Okay. If you're Aquarius and Scorpio dynamic, okay, and somebody hurt you, Let's see. I don't know. Okay. Maybe you hurt Scorpio. Maybe Scorpio hurt you. We're going to see what wants to come out here. Show me what I need to see for this Aquarius Scorpio messages for messages from the one who hurt you. Messages from the one who hurt you. Got a lot of messages. This is the end. Comes out a lot. All right. It says, I can see myself with you for the long term. And so this is the end. Something might be the end of something because they can see themselves with the other person. Reminiscing. I need time. So they might have to work something out here. And I feel like I can't give you what you need. So there might be something to do with that. Um, and this is messages from the one who hurt you. So let's see what wants to come out here in the tarot. Messages from the one who hurt you. Aquarius Scorpio dynamic messages from the one who hurt you Aquarius Scorpio dynamic that's a lot of messages but ultimately we have the lovers here on the bottom and the knight of pentacles reverse so I do think that um, there's going to be some kind of reconnect okay we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. There may be somebody feels like they don't have enough. It says, I feel like I can't give you what you need. That Ten of Pentacles might be that. We have Aquarius in the reverse. And we have Knight of Swords. We have Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Star here. And we have Six of Cups. So this would talk about definitely somebody cutting off a person who is their wish fulfillment. Someone who they feel so very close to. Um... And it's creating a tower. Somebody's sort of stuck in a tower moment. So we're going to find out who is who here, most likely. Tell me about that Knight of Swords, that cut off. Tell me about that Knight of Swords, that cut off. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Queen of Cups. All right. Scorpio could have cut you off. And that caused a lot of pain, all right? But you could have you could have cut them off. Let's see. We do have here water and we have we have air. We can, you know, Queen of Cups can represent Scorpio too. We have the star reverse. Why? 
page of cups. Um, so somebody may have cut the other person off because maybe they feel like um, somebody wasn't genuine. Somebody wasn't from the heart, possibly. Because for me, page of cups has a lot to do with a very heartfelt connection. So um, Scorpio being a water sign and um, really enjoying being in those emotions, right? knowing how to navigate those waters and Aquarius being the water bearer Aquarius being someone who can control those emotions it might have that might have been like some sort of language barrier uh, between you guys some miscommunication tell me about the six of cups even though you guys are very close tell me about six of cups the devil crazy uh you guys have a very crazy close connection even a magnetic attraction to where you guys are almost addictive to one another okay um but there's a lot to do there could have been somebody else that even got involved in the mix i just when i go further down here tell me about the ten of pentacles reverse the Emperor Divine Masculine Yang Energy. So whoever was in this Emperor Energy was not able to give to the situation or they felt they didn't have enough to give to do the right thing here. But do they want it and do they want to focus on it? Do they want to make peace? Yes. Definitely they want to make peace here. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. They're just, they're having a tower moment. Whoever hurt whoever created the hurt is the one who's having a tower moment here tell me about this eight of swords stuff yeah they let their love go so in this dynamic someone is really stuck because they let you know the, the person that they love go tell me about the tower tell me about the tower that is scorpio energy it's mars and, and we have wow i have to show you the tower again I think somebody wants to undo what they've done okay tell me about the tower whoever let the other person down and here's that three of cups so I did feel like there was a third energy somebody some other energy got involved here and someone was cut out the one who was cut out is in a lot of pain okay but they do somebody wants to come in and fix this Tell me about this, uh, but they're holding back. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Right there. Someone's coming, but they're holding back right now. Maybe something to do about this Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay, maybe they haven't had the opportunity. Maybe there's an, a relationship that has to end. Maybe it's around money. Something like this. But they're thinking about reaching out. And there's definitely uh, Two of Cups is, is, is ending. So... It did say this is over all right if they were dealing someone with someone it's over show me what i need to see here give me some angel advice landed on this six of cups and it says as azure azure i don't know it says your desired outcome will occur the very in the very near future have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. And it landed right here on the Six of Cups, which is a very close connection. It's also a card that represents reminiscing. So there you go. All right, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to move on to the next sign now. Okay, if you are Aquarius, Sagittarius combo, okay, this is a little mini reading for uh, messages from the one who hurt you, messages from the one who hurt you. So this can be Sagittarius who hurt you or vice versa. This is messages, though, from the one who hurt you. Messages from the one who hurt you. Fights, arguments, and conflict. Anything else? Destiny is taking us down different paths, reminiscing, thinking about you, feeling the distance, okay? Fights, arguments, and conflict. Destiny is taking us down different paths thinking reminiscing I abandon people to make myself feel important somebody might have some sort of abandonment issues there you are the love of my life and this was just a fling so I don't know <laughs> um, 
I don't know what came between you guys, but maybe there was a fling somewhere for somebody. That doesn't have to be for everyone. There's several messages there. So let's see what wants to come out in the tarot. All right. Messages from the one who hurt you. Aquarius, Sagittarius, dynamic. Messages from the one who hurt you. Messages from the one who hurt you. Aquarius, Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. They're heartbroken. Somebody's heartbroken here. <laughs> we have the Three of Swords. And they want to reunite. So, um, this is feeling the loss I feel here. This Three of Pentacles is like, it's a place. It's teamwork. It's, you know, maybe you guys work together. Maybe you live together in a small little community, but whatever. Um, because we have that literally next to this. But this this is a person who's missing and hurting. Okay? That's very strong here. Someone's missing and hurting the other person. Uh, hurting for the other person. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. That's the only... That's the most confusing part here. I want to know what that Three of Pentacles is about. You know, maybe someone moved out. And they're missing that person because we do have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and Sagittarius here in the reverse. We have Earth and Fire here in the reverse. And maybe someone's not feeling very stable since the other person is gone. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles reverse. So this, this literally might be someone who's moved out, moved on to another uh, place or community, okay? Um... But now, that person is thinking about returning. We have the Emperor and the Five of Pentacles reverse. We have the 1111 card. You might be seeing 1111 a lot. It is the Four of Wands. Tell me about that Four of Wands, please. Maybe you two were supposed to move in together and it didn't happen. I don't know. <clears throat> There's a lot of moving energy, though. Ten of Wands reverse. So it looks like... <clears throat> I'm, this happens with divine masculine energy. It looks like somebody moved on. And it's been very hard. It looks like someone's literally might even have had to have moved. Um, but I feel like somebody wants to change that. Okay. Two of cups. Tell me about that. This is messages from the one that hurt you. I feel like now they want to fight for this. I feel like they also caught a lot of flack for doing what they did. Um... Because it's like, we have the Empress reverse, we have the Page of Pentacles reverse, we have the Ace of Cups reverse. It's almost like they didn't even say anything. This could have been a person who just, you know, secretly and silently did something without saying a word. And that just made it so painful for the other person. Um, but I feel now this is a person who wants to change things, come back. Tell me about this, Three of Swords. <clears throat> Yeah, so we have the future here. Um, they're taking a look here. This is expecting and expecting them. This is Sagittarius. So, and we have judgment. We have Sagittarius, um, Pluto energy, Jupiter energy. We have Scorpio here. This is two major arcana. You know, somebody's somebody who is the primary cause of this hurt and this pain and this sadness is waking up to the fact of what they've done. They're also looking to come back in, all right? So if if they hurt you um, and you've moved on, they may be wanting to come back in here. Let's close out with a bonus card. It says, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So, you know, maybe you've moved on and they return. Then we have Rosetta, and it says, You have a gift for working with young people, and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. So, this person is coming back, it looks like. Um, that's what it looks like. I don't know how you're going to accept that, or I don't know if you're happy moving on. I don't know if something happened. A third party, they had a fling, but it looks like they're returning Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next sign. I hope this was helpful. Okay, if you are dealing with Aquarius Capricorn dynamic, the one who hurt you, this is a little mini read. The one who hurt you, 
Aquarius Capricorn dynamic. It could be a Capricorn hurt you or vice versa. What are the messages from the one who hurt you? Aquarius Capricorn. Thank you. Thank you. On the bottom it says, I am intimidated by you. And it says, I will find my way back to you one day and I have sexual fantasies about you. So this is for the Aquarius Capricorn dynamic. Show me what I need to see with the tarot here. What are the messages, further messages or actions, whatever wants to come out here. Aquarius Capricorn dynamic for the one who hurt you. What are the messages? What do they want you to know? One more. All right, what do they want you to know? Justice, reverse, Libra energy. Okay. Okay. I think that they want you to know that they're up all night about what they've done here and that they're very sad and regretful. Okay, they're thinking a lot about it. So if you're dealing with this sort of dynamic, Aquarius, Capricorn, whoever did the hurting is thinking about this a lot. Um, they're thinking about the choices that they made. Tell me about the Nine of Swords when it comes to this connection. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. We have the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is someone who knows. They absolutely know what they've done here. And they know that they are the reason. Okay. They know that they're the reason for this failure. For whatever happened between you two. Okay. Tell me about justice in the reverse. They're taking the blame for it. In other words. There's, there's no qualm about that. They want to tell you that too, okay? They want to tell you. They want to tell you, you know, they know it was their fault. Possibly they want to talk to you about why, all right? Tell me about this. They've been, they've been having, a, they've been thinking about it, okay? But I think they're trying to figure out what they want to say. Um, they're going to have to get out of their head and make some sort of movement to come forward to say what it is they want to say, but they just feel right now is not the time. They're more in their, their sorrow and pity right now. Tell me about the five of cups. Yeah, right now they're, they're just holding back. They're not saying anything and they might be dealing with another situation as well. Maybe that's what some of this betrayal is about. All right. Tell me about this six of cups in the reverse. Tell me about the six of cups in the reverse. Eight of Pentacles. The Lovers. Okay, they're trying to figure out how to navigate and come forward. All right. They might be trying to figure out um, what their next move is when it comes to you. Yeah. This is a the thing. They lost the one they love. Now they're trying to figure out how to navigate that, how to, how to shift the focus, um, how to change things. This is where they're at right now, but they're not making a move. Tell me about the... Um, seven of cups this is this is where they're trying to figure it all out here okay what what should they do tell me about that seven of cups they're watching you page of swords reverse what else yeah they're figuring out how they can come back and how they can return and they're watching you so i don't know uh, it's going to be different how they're how they're watching you it's usually on the internet um, they try to spy, see if you've moved on, see if you say anything. Um, they're holding back. They're planning on returning, but they have to let go of something. Um, maybe even a Leo, because I have letting go of the sun, which is reverse, and changing things. Um, but again, they know. Whoever this is, they know it was their fault, and they they're trying to figure out how to come in and fix it with you. Let's close out here with an angel message. Show me what I need to see here. What angel message needs to come out for this? Got two. All right, we have Celeste, and it says, A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So there's going to be forward movement. And it says, Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being and peace of mind and spiritual growth right now. So... 
this is going to bring centering yourself grounding yourself is going to bring you closer to what it is you want and if it's a happy move or change that's what this meditation and, and centering is going to help you to accomplish all right i hope this was helpful and i'm going to go to the next sign okay if you're an aquarius versus aquarius dynamic and if an aquarius hurts you all right, this is Aquarius dealing with another Aquarius. Messages from the one who hurt you. What do they want to say? You make me want to be a better person. Anything else? They're face down, so I'll see them here in a minute. You deserve better than me. Finances are a problem. This is the end. I got that for quite a few. Um, this is the end. For some of you, it's going to be the end of separation. For some of you, someone's just, you know, walking away and it's just, it's over. Uh, but... I feel empty without you is on the bottom you deserve better than me I gave into temptation so somebody gave into temptation finances are a problem this is the end of something here possibly separation or just it's over I find you incredibly attractive and you make me want to be a better person so they want to change their ways so let's see what wants to come out here in the tarot the one who hurt you this is Aquarius versus Aquarius the one who hurt you Aquarius versus Aquarius messages from them that's a lot geez okay might be a Leo somewhere in the mix uh, messages number one thinking of you okay very close connection but also not making a move all right it's not been a conversation here somebody might be in another connection um there's a lot here strong leo i have i have a couple cards of leo um three cards that could be leo i have aries and i have libra and i have gemini okay and aquarius and cancer so anybody could have these placements in their chart but this is i think out of all the signs this has come out the most aquarius versus aquarius so first of all let's talk about this page of pentacles that's like that's like nothing going on here nothing going on tell me about that but somebody wants to return tell me about the page of pentacles Okay. you know we have a close connection we have happiness here somebody could have walked away somebody could have had a dream here but there's been no communication I feel like there's a lot of travel in the astral because there's a lot going on here and I think that somebody has traveled in the astral and found another person in the mix here um so we could have a dynamic of aquarius and aquarius and leo or aquarius and aquarius with any of these other signs that i've mentioned doesn't have to be but i definitely feel um we have an energy and the deception is over here something's got to get cut off tell me about justice why is justice here libra energy why is it here landed on healing it looks like somebody had an affair yeah I gave into temptation did come out yeah it looks like someone had an affair this can be a one-night stand okay we have the Queen of Wands um, this could even be a club setting somebody could have even found somebody at a place went to a place and saw the per their person with somebody all right so this is that person whoever did the wrong deed all right this is that person wanting to do the right thing now uh tell me about eight of cups reverse that's a return something was face up here what was that yeah mirroring somebody might be taking a good hard look at themselves tell me about the eight of cups some of you it might be a twin flame doesn't have to be yeah knight of ones reverse so it looks like in this dynamic someone was caught cheating and somebody wants to return and make it right all right tell me about king of wands and somebody's going to be like okay i'm not going to cheat anymore i'm not i'm changed i'm not going to do that tell me about that 
Yeah, a juggler. This is written all over it. Cheater, juggler, somebody else in the picture. Uh, tell me about the fool that's wanting a new beginning. That is Aquarius energy. Justice reverse. So basically, somebody's wanting some sort of forgiveness after doing the wrong thing. If you're dealing with another Aquarius and you're not sure who's who, this is going to be who cheated. Now, if you both cheated, it's going to come down to just forgiving one another if you want to. There is a new beginning if you want it. Someone is um, sad and regretful and wants to come together and doesn't want to do this deceptive stuff anymore. Um, that's what it's showing here, okay? Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Page of Swords, yes. Yeah somebody's watching the other person um so the cheater is watching the person that they cheated on tell me about the nine of pentacles reverse maybe someone's moved on and dating and maybe they're not liking that yeah they want to return six of cups so like i said the cheater wants to return um because this is a very close connection or maybe you guys you know maybe you guys have kids together sometimes it's that but this is more they're very much uh, reminiscing here tell me about the chariot in reverse cancer energy the hermit reverse and king of swords so they might have reached out they might have spoken maybe said something um during cancer season but also maybe they saw you somewhere in your car or something like that or or something like this but anyway it doesn't really matter it looks like it has to do with we have Aquarius right here and that has a lot to do with speaking one's truth with the hermit in reverse so somebody may have come out in the, of the woodwork here and just said I've had a lot of time to think about this um, or they may be about ready to do that three of wands all right you could expect them here tell me about the seven of swords and the reverse yeah, King of Cups in the reverse. So, you know, this is like saying, somebody might be saying, look, I was drinking, I was under the influence, you know, when I did what I did. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. It's over, okay? I want to stay with you. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Somebody here is like trying to heal though from this. Tell me about that. Yeah, Temperance. Someone's really trying to... Uh, turn lemons into lemonade. Someone's really trying to get over this um, energy right there. That is Sagittarius energy, but it's the temperance angel trying to heal. Tell me about the four of pentacles in the reverse. They want to move on. It's like, I want to squash this. I want to let this go and I want to move on. And for the one who cheated that's what they were like I want to move on from this um, I'm never going to do it again but the other person is like well, I'm still trying to heal from it though because how do I know if I can trust you how do I know this won't happen again tell me about the sun card Leo energy again trying to heal I got two cards four of wands trying to heal so someone is very much focused on their healing on their happiness and somebody is now focused or will be focused on trying to come back um after the betrayal but i do see someone here going toward their happiness eight of cups we have someone walking away um so i don't know it's going to be a choice it looks like somebody you know is walking away from it and just going toward their happiness and probably not taking this person back we have free will though all right so the bonus card we have two two bonus cards we have crystal and sonia Crystal says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. So there is something beautiful coming in for you. And it says, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy and I'm at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So if you have a deceased loved one over there and you're watching this, they love you. Anyway, I'm going to move on to Aquarius versus Pisces. Okay, Aquarius versus Pisces. Aquarius versus Pisces dynamic, the one who hurt you. Okay, this can be a Pisces that hurt Aquarius, Aquarius that hurt Pisces. I'm just going to see what messages want to come out. Messages from the one that hurt you, Aquarius, Pisces dynamic. Show me what I need to see. 
for this reading? Aquarius versus Pisces. Anything else? What do they want to say? All right. I am so sorry. Finances might be a problem for somebody. First card that came out, we have I Miss You and Twin Flame. So for some of you, this is a Twin Flame dynamic. It says, I am so sorry. I need time. Okay. A lot of times they end up in karmic situations. They have to learn karmic lessons. A lot of times they're afraid of commitment. I'm afraid of commitment. There was someone interfering in our relationship. It's usually a karmic lesson. But it does say, I miss you and twin flames. So now we're going to see what wants to come out. This is Aquarius versus Pisces dynamic. Show me what I need to see here for this reading. Show me what I need to see here for this reading. Aquarius versus Pisces. Messages from the one who hurt you. Wow. We have the sun here. I think um, it's like saying you made me very happy. I think somebody wants to let go of this um, because I did see, yeah, someone wants to heal this. Somebody made a mistake is what they're saying here. Anything else? And I want to come together. So somebody wants to make their way back. Um, start over, I feel. There's going to be an apology coming. They might be looking for you at your work or come to some place where they know you hang out to tell you apology or something like this. Let's clarify. Tell me about the sun card. Tell me about the sun card. Tell me about the sun card. Messages from the one who hurt you. Tell me about the sun card. Aquarius Pisces. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So... We have um, the lovers in reverse and the knight of wands. And it's like saying, you know, I feel like somebody wants to heal this. Somebody wants to come in and just say, look, I'm sorry for being inconsistent. I'm sorry for being the one who pulled away. Um, somebody might have some strong Leo in their chart just because, or fire, because I have strong fire right here up front. But I do feel like somebody wants to come in and just say that um, I screwed up. You know, I chose the karmic path or I chose to uh, be inconsistent or be with other people or whatever that is. Sometimes that Knight of Wands is known to do that. But this is like saying, look, you make me happy. And we literally have like two twins there. And it's like, you make me happy. And I've decided I'm not going to do this anymore. Whatever this Knight of Wands is, which ultimately is being inconsistent. Tell me about the Three of Swords in the reverse. For me, that's wanting to heal things. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Virgo energy in the reverse. So I do feel if you haven't seen this person, they're going to come out and they're going to be like, look, I, I want to heal things with you. Um, I'm the happiest I've ever been with you. I chose this, but it was wrong. Judgment reverse. I made a mistake doesn't look like they've said it yet. looks like they're kind of holding back because they're trying to build up some sort of strength or character or whatever because they know they did the wrong thing. All right, but they do want union. Tell me about the judgment in reverse. Ten of Pentacles reverse. They're the ones who threw this away. There was so much for you guys to do in this life. Build a legacy together have a whole entire life okay basically this card talks about legacy and they understand they know that they're the one who threw it away so tell me about the two of wands two of wands in the after tarot is going in the direction of what they want and here it's two people together so tell me about the two of wands this is that heart to heart conversation i really feel like they want to say that and the next card in line is the page of cups the Page of Cups came after this card, and the Page of Cups is clarifying it. So they want to come in, and they really want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Sometimes that Page of Cups is an apology, but whatever it is that they say, it comes from the heart. Give me another card again for that Page of Cups, even though I know it just came out. I just want to clarify every card. Yeah, love. You know. Some of them want to create a family with you, like that kind of legacy. They want to have, have a baby or create a legacy, but... Um, for the most part, this is saying, look, I love you. I'm the happiest I ever was with you. I know I'm the reason. I know I'm the one who uh, created this. I know I'm the one who made the, the mistake here. 
but can we can we start over here three of pentacles and again two of wands coming in the direction of you but to tell you how they feel currently they're just sort of holding it back but they want to say what they're feeling so badly okay um they want to move on into a better direction tell me about the three of pentacles okay so they want to reach out um they might go to reach out and just feel like they sort of freeze up like that's that character is stone right there the hierophant reverse the nine of pentacles reverse they want a relationship they want a long-term commitment possibly even marriage but the whole thing is like i think that they probably have some fear around that they're afraid um they're not quite as awakened as you are but they do want to do the right thing they did the wrong thing they know that they do want to do the right thing they do want to commit and they do want to be consistent but the whole thing about it is um you're going to have to forgive them for that to happen but this is what they want look at the four of wands okay look in here at at the moon together moon gazing justice doing the right thing this is what they imagine doing with you all right and there's a lot here about marriage i have the hierophant okay that can talk about commitment i have the judgment that can talk about the court this can talk about doing you know also an action so they i feel they want to marry you honestly is what i feel like i feel like they want to marry you be with you and if you guys can have a family i feel like that's what they want but they know that they screwed it up the first time so it's going to take forgiveness let's close out with a angel message let's close out with an angel message landed here on this heartache um the hermit in reverse coming out to say and it's shanti and it says i am the angel of peace i bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead so it looks like if you do take this person back they are sincere and they plan to do exactly what they say as of this reading and it's a general reading keep that in mind anyway i hope you enjoyed the reading and namaste my friends